this common um, misconception out there that hitting menopause means you're past your sexual prime. Well, I could take it from me. That's nothing could be further from the truth. And I know it can seem like you've lost that love and feeling, but you can get it back. It just helps to understand where desire comes from and what makes it disappear. So I've invited my friend Dr. Stacy Nottingham from Life Extension to join us this morning to help us find our lost libido. Welcome. How are you, how are you Stacy? Oh, I'm great. Thank you for having me. I think there are women all over America, probably all over the world, looking for their libidos everywhere in the house and can't find it. What, 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 <laughs> what, ha what happens to the libido when you're a kid? That's all you think about. It's so true. You know, the good news is if it's lost, we can find it. And there's this enormous misconception out there that somehow our reproductive capacity is linked with our se sexual capacity, meaning that if our re when our reproductive capacity goes down, our sexual capacity goes down. And it couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, it's the opposite. Well, then something's terribly wrong, because all I hear from um, pre- -men and menopausal and postmenopausal women is, oh, I'm past that. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? You know, stress plays an enormous factor in, in terms of libido. It's a very important blend for women. We need to have our mind and our body needs to come together and fuse as one. I think also at this age we start getting a little fat and we start, you know, not liking the way we look and, and it affects our relationship with our partner. You know, I'm hoping, at least for myself, speaking mm -hmm. personally, that as women get older, we actually get more comfortable in our skin and in our body. And I'm at the point where I'm not a size two. I was never a size two. I'm never going to be a size two. <laughs> and if you don't like it, move on. I'm, com <laughs> I'm finally comfortable in my skin. When a patient comes in to you and says, doctor, I just don't feel it anymore. I don't, I don't know. I'd rather have a smoothie. What do you, what do, you do for them? I say probably me too a lot of the time. <laughs> food, You're food, just tired? Food, food is definitely a pleasure. There's no doubt about it. But there's something that we're missing when I call it the flame is out. Yes. And I don't want women to think that I'm just talking about sex. It's not just about going out and having sex. What we really want is to relight the flame. It just makes the sky a little bluer. It's nice to walk into a room and a lot of times I'll ask them, how many men were out in the office? How many men did you see? Most of them, zero. They didn't even notice them. They don't even notice them because the flame is out. So in order to kind of rekindle the flame, you can do something as simple as taking a product, an herb that the Incas have been used for over 2,000 years that I personally have been using, that I've been using with my patients for 15 years, an herb called maca. And then I ask them to come back uh, two or three weeks later, and I asked them, how many men in the room? Eight. <laughs> mm -hmm. How many men in your office? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maca, that's interesting. I've heard of maca as a, does it, does it make you horny, or does it just sort of relax everything? Maca is composed of two very important amino acids, arginine and histamine. Oh. And arginine is, a, is noted for vasodilating. We all know that a man, in order for a man to attain an erection, he needs to have a lot of vasodilating. Because it improves blood flow? It improves, improves blood flow. We need the same. We actually do attain erections as women, and a lot of women don't realize that. We have an area that's called the vulva, and the clitoris lives underneath the vulva, uh -huh. and it's closed in and protected by the labia. Yes. So I try to equate it to the petals of a beautiful flower. When the petals are closed, you can't pollinate the flower. The petals need to open up so that you can pollinate the flower. And if we have enough blood flow, the petals actually open up, and the clitoris can actually rise to the surface. And it's with contact of the clitoris that we as women achieve orgasm. And that's where blood flow is so essential. So fascinating. Mm -hmm. You know, I do my husband's vitamins. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I make sure that I, I, I put four arginine into his nighttime vitamins. I'm sure you both I, appreciate that. But I never mm -hmm. thought of taking it for myself. You can. I was just concerned about, you know, him, no. uh, which it's, works quite nicely. Yeah. And what, maca has the arginine in it? Maca has the arginine that, in yes. it, and maca also has something called histidine. And histidine converts to histamine. And in order 
for us to actually achieve orgasm, our histamine needs to release something called mast cells and fill the whole head of the clitoris, and that's how we achieve orgasm. So in that supplement, it has arginine Me and histamine. I, I always thought histamine was like allergies. Yes, and that's a great question. Histamine actually serves multiple uh, functions in the body. It's important for the brain. It's important for the gut. It's a, it's a great vasodilator, and it also releases mast cells. It, for men, it actually floods the head of the penis for orgasm. It floods the head of the clitoris for orgasm. And after sex, when you get those pink cheeks, uh -huh. that's mast cells. Those are the mast cells. This is so fascinating. I don't, I don't usually hold up, but this is, uh, can I just see this for a oh, minute? Oh, sure. This is the uh, supplement. It's called Advanced Natural Sex for Women. Is this for men too? Absolutely. Don't keep it for yourself. Advanced Natural Sex. That is fascinating information. Mm -hmm. I, you know, because of the books I write, I always think I pretty much know all this stuff. I'd never heard of that. And who doesn't want to have a better orgasm? I do. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Because you know how many guys are in your office. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> how much do you take? You can take anywhere from one, um, one capsule to three capsules a day. I always say start slow and low. I'm a very conservative practitioner. So you take one, see how you feel. I have some people who take one every day. I have some people who take one every day and three on the weekends. I have some people who take maybe just one 45 minutes before intercourse. Just play with it. You take it at night? Some people take it at night. Some people take it in the morning. Alan and I have these uh, stay in bed weekends. Just that we've been working. We just like to hang out in bed all day Saturday and Sunday. Great. This could be fun. That could be very, it's, it is fun for the family. Uh -huh. This is fascinating information. Really something that I had no idea. Aren't you glad to know? <laughs> that a, see, because everyone always says there's no Viagra for women. Here it is, and it's not a drug. That's what I really like about it. Me it's too. natural. Me too. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. What's the website again? LEF.org. Got it. Okay. We'll be back. <laughs> the Suzanne Show is offering a free special report all about feeling sexy. How to increase your libido. It's fast and easy to get the report. Just visit SuzanneTV.com. While you're there, you can also sign up to get a free one-year Life Extension membership, no obligation. You'll gain access to Life Extension's groundbreaking nutritional, medical, and scientific information for longer life. Plus, you'll be entered for a chance to win exciting prizes every week, including a luxury cruise. It's all part of the Suzanne Show Ultimate Health Giveaway.